All right, what's going on guys? Today, we're gonna do a little bit of bass fishing. But first, we're gonna go in and get some breakfast from good old Waffle House. Then after that, we're gonna go to the bait store, get some live bait, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and head over to Big Ernie's, get some live bait. Um, they got some pretty big shiners over there. Probably going to pick up maybe a dozen of those guys. It's always good when you're doing a whole day of bass fishing, especially, you know, Texas rigging and whatnot, to have you some live bait to throw out, you know, just in case. I always throw out live bait when I do a whole day of bass fishing normally on my open face reels I normally put a cork maybe two foot above the uh, shiner <clears throat> and while I'm bass fishing the shiner is just sitting out in the water it just it just really really enhances your chance to catch more bass and enhances your chance to catch a big bass so it's like 70 degrees out today the weather's pretty crappy it's pretty rainy but we're gonna do what we got to do and we're gonna put some fish on the bank y'all stay tuned see you at the tackle shop all right guys we just got to the bait store let's go in here and see what we working with see what they got today how's it going What you got today with uh, your shiners? You know? uh, medium, large, maybe some extra large. Or small. Y'all open back up on Sundays again, huh? Yeah. Thank goodness. Can I do like half large and half extra large? That's fine, that'll work. Let's see what they got in here. Crappy jigs. That's a bridge road. What, a, what in the world is going on there? 1106. There you go. Alright guys, we got the shiners. Let's go hit the water. Y'all want to know that? I am liking what I see. Do y'all want to know why? Right here, there's a bunch of bass beds. Not way out there, not way down there. Right where I need them. So I'm going to drop my shiner right down in there. And see what I can't get done. But first... This bad boy is going out today. This joker does not play around. Look at, look at this swim bait, guys. What a trouble on. What the heck is going on? Cast that joker across the dang lake, I'll tell you that. There is chain pickerel in here, guys. So I could very well catch one of those. This swim bait right here. This is like a bass magnet. Look at how well this swim bait looks in the water. Check this swim bait out, guys. Look at that sucker. Y'all check this out. I call these southern pikes, but the name is the name for them is chain pickerels. Look at this. Look at this guy here. He has literally engulfed a fish quarter of the size of him, bluegill. All the way down, look at that. Stuck right in the throat, dead. Mmm. Maybe I don't think he won't hit one of these. Oh, because he will. Oh, man. This is going to be fun. All these bait fish right in here. 
cast this guy out right across the lake. <laughs> Bang. Now with a swim bait like this, you want to swim fast. Every once in a while, I'll stop and then start again because he's so heavy. He'll get down to the bottom and he'll attract all kinds of seaweed and everything else that you don't want on him. We can either have a monster bass hit this or I could have a big old chain pickerel hit this. And there was just something out there right in the water where I just casted this to. Guys, here's our first shiner on my Fluger Ultralight. Got to keep a close eye on this thing because especially here, it will get dragged in in a matter of just a few seconds. There he is. Oh my gosh. Huh. Another missed fish, guys. I'm not doing well today. Today is not going well on my side at all maybe today is just not my day to fish all right i got a fish on the uh bait runner here guys holy cow this could very well could be a chain pickerel Ooh. oh yeah he's fighting good yeah i think this is exactly what I think it is holy cow it is I caught one chain pickerel baby holy cow <laughs> oh I've been waiting to catch one of you boys forever now that is a chain pickerel right there guys that is a nice fish that is a really pretty fish. He is pissed. My goodness, is he pissed. You catch any pike out of here? They're in here. I can't believe it. Look at this one over here. I was walking the bank. There's one dead laying on the bank that's got probably a half pound bluegill sticking out of its mouth. I don't think somebody caught that, man. I, I think somebody was messing with it or something, but I, I don't understand what its agenda was to try and eat a bait that big. Can I tell you something? That's, that looks exactly like the one that guy caught the other day. And look at the teeth. I mean, just crazy. That's exactly what he looked like. Yeah. That's about the size of that one, the one that guy caught the other day. Where'd he catch it at? Right down there with a the crankbait. Right down there with a the right crankbait, huh? There's some big ones in here. Yeah. But getting them to bite, it's... It's tricky. It's, it's very tricky. It's extremely tricky. All right, guys. I just had a big whack on this crank, so I'm going to fish it real slow. Got him. Got something. Whoa. Looks like another... Uh... Yes, sir, it is. This is the second one of the day. Ooh, both of these are about the same size. Guys, that is a pretty fish. Real pretty. Chain pickerel. All right, guys, I haven't had any luck on the crankbait in about 20 minutes. We've caught two chain pickerels. Still no bass today. Just gotta be this weather change constant that's got these bass all freaky but i guess let's keep at it uh i got a couple more bait fish to go and let's see what else we can't catch all right guys we're going to do a little bit of texas rigging here i'm done with my swim baits let's see what we can't do I'm just gonna fish this guy real slow right on the bottom there's not really a lot of heavy cover in this lake, just a crap ton of seaweed. Guys, I'm gonna switch it up one last time, putting on a spinner bait. I was gonna save it for last. That has always been my best bait in this pond. Let's see what we can't do. Big bass, and you know what?
Let's see how he's working through the water. He's all right. The sun is out, my friends. Goodness. guys that is a wrap we got two lucky shiners that are gonna have a chance to live here what's going on guys long day of fishing uh, no bass today I caught two chain pickerels down here we call them southern pikes never caught those before so I'm super stoked about that um, I got to see a dead one laying on the bank with a quarter pound bluegill hanging on its mouth um, like I said at the beginning of this video nothing for bass fishing is gonna get right until the weather gets right so I think about another week or two the temperatures will rise they'll stay at 70 80 degrees the bass will go into full spawn and it'll be off the chain um, but these 40 degree weather drops they're, they're killing me right now for for my pond and my lake bass fishing anyways guys if you like this video subscribe subscribe Hit the notification bell. I got a lot of stuff coming really soon, so y'all stay tuned. Um, and that's about it, guys. Fish on.